Hello everybody, Levi Clay back again to do another transcription. This time we're looking at the advanced uh, transcription challenge for my Patreon group. Patreon, check us out on Patreon. You can join up to our exclusive Facebook group where we do monthly challenges and lots of good stuff like that. This time we are taking a look at the Jimmy Herring band tune, Matt's Funk. The reason we're doing this is because uh, there's a combination of cool things in here to work on. Syncopated rhythms, uh, chordal work, and then there's some really out there uh, blues playing which is cool so I've marked out a bit of the file drum and we're really looking here so one two three four it's all in four I'm just gonna mark those beats in so right click edit this marker subdivide by four so now I can see my beat markers line that up a bit tighter there we are. Now I can hear it's a swing feel da 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 sixteenths now I write the riff, so da do da ba da. Now it's all about exactly that. Da ba da ba da. I've already processed what it is. Now I can work out what it is. And then I can write. So as long as I understand what the rhythm is, da do da 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 da. Oh, whoops. Two picks, two picks. One and two, three and four. Um. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. So that's our rhythm. Oh, but da, da, da. Same repeating motif. Oh, oh, what have I done? What have I done? No! Uh, let's fix that. Where have I made that? Oh, I'll put a dotted eighth. Should be a regular eighth. Da, 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 da. Come on. Now, let's take a look at what I've written here, and this kind of moves into like a reading 101 type lesson. When I look at this phrase, Jimmy's playing a little bit more, he's playing like scuffed uh, 16th notes here, muted notes. <clears throat> but the important part is, keys this in, put it in F. Now when I look at this, slow it down a bit, one cent. Fine. So, when I look at this, it's understanding the syncopated rhythms. Um, it comes in being able to see where each beat is. So there's beat one, there's beat two, there's beat three, and there's beat four. Beat one, beat two, beat three, and beat four. Each of these can be processed as its own piece, own piece of information. One, two, three, four. Beat two, three, four. Oh. One, two, three, four. Putting the two together. One, two, three, four. One, e and two, and three, four. Three, four. Beat three. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And then beat four, we have a sixteenth note rest and then a sixteenth note. So again, if I put in my it's my rhythm, my shuffle feel. If I just hit the second sixteenth note, one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. Now take away the uh, scuff notes. You have one, 
two, three, four, one and 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 two. Put those two together. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, one and and three, four, one and two, E and a three, four, one and two, E and a three, four, one and two, E and a Put them all together, makes sense. Three, four. Now you could put picking directions in here because uh, that might help someone who's not great at reading syncopated rhythms read it. Because what that tells me is that a downstroke that's going to be on the beat, off the beat, on the beat, on the beat, off the beat, on the beat, and off the beat. <clears throat> anyway, keep going. So, similar, similar phrase. Being able to process inf large chunks of information like that. Not a large chunk, really, but... We've got a repeat. Four bar phrase that repeats. I'm just going to get rid of those pick directions on that. Now I'm going to look for the chord. So what I do when I do something like this is I listen for the high note and then the bottom note and then fill in the blanks. So. <laughs> I mean, the video helps, so I can... So, we have... See, I'm using the tools at my disposal. I'm hitting the chord, pressing C, which will copy it, highlighting it, and then using this button up here to move everything up a semitone. So you'll notice here he does more of the more of the muted strings, but I'm not bothering putting them in because I'm not seeing it as being that. I'm seeing it as being um, th what I've written is the actual rhythm, right? Um, the the rest is all right. It might be what Jimmy is playing, yeah, sure. But I'm not actually at this stage treating this transcription as a transcription of Jimmy's uh, playing. I'm treating it as a lead sheet type composition. Um, let me just put the bass notes in. Yeah, so... So it's um this would if the uh, the bass note was there this would be a D seven sharp nine and then this would be obviously moving up a semitone E flat seven sharp nine and this uh, would be an E seven sharp nine this would be an F seven sharp nine and then we go back to our D seven sharp nine. 
I'm checking for repeats. Uh, Okay, so um, what I would do is I would put my repeat marks in. Repeat three times. This is our first second. Uh, no, sorry, repeat four times. This is our first, second, and third time ending. But then on the fourth time, We have that. So put my fourth time ending there. That's a real shame that that chord displays so close to the numbers. Now we're back to the A section. Nice and easy. See, Jimmy misses that there. I'm not too worried about that there. Okay, now we've got the cool licks. So what I will do, I was going to, well this is, I'll put in an A section there just so we can see. That's an A section. And again, look at this. Just this place, the place, Guitar Pro, sort your shit out. Just no need for it is there. Right. B section there. We have a repeat of the A section. And this is where it's a real shame because I think it would be really nice if I could um, have a lead sheet and then the solos, but I'll get rid of those pick strokes. So we've got, um, I'll just do this lick and then we'll call it quits. So Jimmy doesn't play anything in the first bar. And again, a nice feature would be if you copy something with chords above it that those chords copy over. But you know, never, never mind, hey. Ah. I've got a lick. Um, one, one, two, three, four. Let's get that lick. That's a cool diminished lick. Now we can see where he is on the neck.
and now we're into the keyboard solo um, where we got some cool comping from Jimmy but I'll do that another time for another video maybe not for YouTube so hope you guys have enjoyed that let's just take a look at what we've got here uh, this should all make sense it's a shame that it displays like that um, uh, let's just do four bars per line so no, we've now got our A section it's going to repeat as you'd expect now Guitar Pro doesn't handle these it plays them straight Repeat the intro phrase, A section. Don't know why I've got four times repeat on that, should only be two. Right, back to Nice and easy. Right, cool. We are done. Peace out, guys. It's been my pleasure to serve and entertain. You can check me out on Patreon by clicking the link in the top right. You can subscribe to me by clicking the button in the bottom left. And you can also check out a couple of my other videos up there in the top right and bottom right. As I say, pleasure to serve and entertain. I'll be back for more videos soon. Bye.